Hi, I'm Jenny Chung, and you're watching Hot Ticket. As a way to honor his friend, John B. Hightower, who is currently battling Alzheimer's disease, family friend and personal trainer Brian Cole is going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro as a way to increase awareness as well as raise funds for Alzheimer's research. Here's a quick look at Climbing High for John. It's about John and the quality person he has been his whole life. With all his accomplishments, you would just never know it to be around him. He's just so down to earth and gentle and quiet about it, and he's done so much. I mean, I just think he's a real special guy. And, uh, I'm really not happy about this diagnosis <laughs> that he has. When I came back from Kilimanjaro last time, John and Marty had a little party here, so they were, you know, actively supportive and involved before. The day I got the final diagnosis from Marty, it literally within 24 hours of that, I contacted Alzheimer's nationally and it's been rolling ever since. I'd connected them to the previous trip and um, it just, it made sense. And it's made more and more sense every day since I decided to do it too. So I, I'm, clearly it was the right thing to do for me anyway, and hopefully for, for John and for Alzheimer's research. Brian Cole joins me today along with President and CEO of the Southeastern Virginia Chapter of the Alzheimer's Association, Gino Colombara. Thank you both so much for being here with oh, us thank today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. So Brian, I wanted to start with you. Now this is your second attempt to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, in your, your first attempt, you had some challenges that you dealt with that you actually relate to the plight of um, people who deal with Alzheimer's every day. Can you, how so? Uh, well, the first time I went, I was hit with altitude sickness at uh, 15,358 <laughs> <laughs> exact feet. And the thing is, you can't prepare for it like Alzheimer's. It uh, doesn't have anything to do with gender or age or social status or fitness level or anything. It just it can just hit you, and when it does, you have to deal with it. Uh, the Alzheimer's disease is truly a family disease. I mean, yeah. it doesn't uh, just affect the, uh, the individual who's diagnosed with it, but the whole family unit, their friends, their care partners, supporters. Uh, it can create a very much, uh, challenging emotional and financial struggles yeah. for the caregivers, and many feel so alone. What uh, Brian doing, is doing here is not only climbing to reach the summit to see the hope that's on the other side, to really find those disease modifying treatments and ultimately a cure for this disease. But the thing about the research, that is a true component. Scientists say that we're at a tipping point mm. and now we need the fuel to get over that tipping point, to go to the other side of the summit and see that hope. I mean, research is the only way. Obviously the top six causes of death in this country, all of them have improved in outcomes since 2000, except Alzheimer's, which has skyrocketed. Now, what can viewers do to help? Where, where can they go? Now, we have a website specifically, climbinghighforjohn.com, but right. they can also go to the Alzheimer's right. Association. Right, they can go to uh, www.alz.org mm -hmm. forward slash SEVA for Southeastern Virginia, Fantastic. and we uh, have the link to the Climbing High for John uh, on that site. And they can donate online or they can uh, send uh, their donations to our chapter office and, and all that information directly. directly to support research. Now, I just wanted to leave on one note. You In the video, you gave some insight as to kind of the person that John Hightower is. Tell me a little bit, bit about that as well as what the number 068887 Eight, means to you both. <laughs> it, it, he has it on his license plate and uh, it was his Marine Corps serial number. John graduated from Yale, went into Marine Corps, was a captain, and then went on to various positions in the arts world. But I would use that number for motivation as his trainer whenever he appeared to be slacking a bit. I'd remind him of his serial number and his you, Marine Corps days. It's perk him up a little bit. Well, <laughs> you know, we really thank you so much for being here with us and, you know, Godspeed on your journey and our heartfelt support to the Hightower family.